Hello, and welcome to the Surrogate Associates web series about Tableau 10. This video will discuss and demonstrate a valuable feature that is new to Tableau with this latest product release, cross-database joins. My name is Alistair Jones, and I'm a US-based business intelligence and analytics consultant at Thurgood Associates. Thurgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau and was named the 2014 Alliance Partner of the Year in the EMEA region. So cross-database joins is a new feature to Tableau 10. It allows users the ability to join tables across different relational databases based on common fields. Previous versions of Tableau enabled users to join tables within individual databases, and the user interface and method of joining tables that existed in prior versions of Tableau remains unchanged. And this simple interface is now extended to allow for cross-database joining of tables. Also of note with this new feature is that you're able to join tables from different database management systems, as I'll demonstrate today. I've listed a handful of some of the more popular enterprise database management systems that can be joined together on this slide, but the full list is more extensive. And a few business applications and use cases of the new cross-database join feature are a business unit may not have all of its data stored collectively in one central data warehouse, but rather relevant data could exist in various locations. This data could exist separately because it's specific to a certain region, line of business, or be external market data. Storing data centrally in one database may not be possible or optimal for an organization, and a feature such as cross-database joins does not necessitate that data warehouses are designed such that everything is contained in one place. If attributes or supplemental data can be stored in another database, organizations can enjoy reduced latency as the amount of transactional or fact data loaded into a database is reduced. Also, the need to frequently bring data sources together is reduced, thereby saving cost and effort. In addition, business users are able to gain greater insights by accessing more attributes and dimensions when information from additional different databases can be loaded into worksheets. Now I'll explore what a potential database architecture could look like joining two databases together in Tableau 10. This diagram also represents the architecture of today's video. One database is a cloud-hosted Amazon RDS MySQL database, while the other is an on-premise Microsoft SQL Server relational database that are being joined together in Tableau 10 to drive insights. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm a sales manager at a company that sells widgets. Our company stores our sales information on an Amazon RDS MySQL database that's conveniently scalable as our sales data volume grows. We maintain a customer relationship management database on a Microsoft SQL Server database on premises. It contains relatively static dimensions such as store name and store location. Thanks to new cross database join offering in Tableau 10, we're able to create visualizations that incorporate data elements from both databases. Now let's flip to Tableau 10 and see this in action. So this is the initial start page when I open Tableau 10. Uh, I'm going to first connect to my Amazon RDS hosted MySQL database. I've connected to it before and uh, Tableau remembers the server name as well as my username. It is password protected, so I'll enter the rest of my credentials here, sign into the server. Once I've accessed the server, I'll need to select uh, and specify a specific database that I want to work with. I know in this case it's the fact database, so I'll go ahead and select that. There's only one table in this database, so it's automatically loaded it into my data pane on the right-hand side here. And it contains three fields, store ID, sales amount, and year. <clears throat> the connection is a live connection to the database. I'll go ahead and navigate to a sheet to see what this data looks like in action. So I have one measure and it's the sales amount and I'll uh, drag that onto the sheet and slice it by this store ID field. And I can see that store ID is a, kind of a rough identifier, not very descriptive. It's a numeric identifier uh, that specifies the stores. And to get more information and for a more user-friendly uh, breakdown of sales, I'll need to bring in that customer relationship management information that I have stored on a Microsoft SQL Server database. So I'll navigate back to the data source pane here and add a connection. You can see that some of the server uh, options are grayed out. Uh, these are servers that you cannot join, uh, databases that you cannot join with the existing connection. But Microsoft SQL Server, as mentioned in the slides, is one of the servers um, that you can connect to and, and join a database um, to. So I've, again, connected to the server before, and, and uh, Tableau remembers that. I won't specify a database name, but I will use Windows Authentication, that kind of single sign-in um, capability uh, to connect to the server. I'll um, connect to it and again I'll need to select a certain database. The server contains a number of databases so I'll use the search functionality to find the database I'm interested in, in this case widget CRM. And this database contains two tables. I know that um, the 
the common field between these two will be store ID and it'll link to the store details table. So I'll just go ahead and use a simple drag and drop functionality to pull that on to uh, the data pane here. So now Tableau prompts me for some kind of join criteria between the tables. Uh, as I mentioned, I want an inner join and I know it's between store ID and, and store ID should, should exist in both tables. So I'll go ahead and select that and the join um, is initiated. I'll then also bring on additional information from the sales manager table that uh, exists in the same database as um, the store details. And since they exist together in a relational database, Tableau automatically recognizes the join criteria between these two tables. So now that I have this additional data uh, loaded into Tableau 10, I want to see uh, what insights I can derive using this data. So I'll create a new worksheet, and you can see I have many more uh, dimensions here, many more fields, um, and I want to use the popular Tableau functionality that is uh, the map. So I'll drag city onto the worksheet, and you can see that Tableau automatically creates a marker for each of the cities in which I retail my widgets. And I'd like to see the relative sales amount in each of these cities, so I'll also drag that onto the worksheet. And Tableau has quickly updated markers uh, to represent the size. Uh, the size represents the sales volume, the relative sales volume. And to make that slightly more obvious, I'll make the markers larger. I'll also perhaps uh, duplicate that um, sales amount information and drag it onto color on the marks card uh, so that I have not only the color, but also the size to represent the relative sales volume. And I can immediately start to see patterns and trends in my data, uh, such as in California here, three cities, San Francisco, San Jose, and Los Angeles, seem to be relatively uh, doing relatively poorly uh, when compared to uh, San Diego. So perhaps uh, the business could do some investigation as to why that might be. I know that the other table I, I uh, joined in from my uh, CRM database was the sales manager table. And I have a sales manager assigned to each city in which I retail my widgets. So I'd also like to see that information represented on the map. So I'll go ahead and drag that onto the uh, labels. And I can quickly see uh, which sales manager is responsible for which city. And uh, I, can, I can then use that to gain uh, greater insights on, on the sales position within my firm. Uh, I'll hone in on the uh, East Coast here and I can see that Matt's performing relatively strongly uh, when compared to uh, colleagues in the region. So perhaps it would be good to reward Matt for his strong performance or perhaps it would be useful to have Matt uh, coach and teach other sales managers in the region or around the country on what strategies and tactics are working for him. So that was an introduction into uh, cross database joins as a new feature in Tableau 10. I hope it proved useful. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me using the contact information provided on this slide. Thank you for watching.